Chapter 2 of the English at the North Pole. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Part 1 of the Adventures of Captain Hatteras, The English at the North Pole by Jules Verne. Chapter 2 An Unexpected Letter. The letter received by Richard Shandon eight months before ran as follows aberdeen august the second eighteen fifty nine to mr richard shandon liverpool sir i beg to advise you that the sum of sixteen thousand pounds sterling has been placed in the hands of messrs markyard and co bankers of liverpool i join her with a series of cheques signed by me which will allow you to draw upon the said messrs Marquardt for the above-mentioned sum. You do not know me, but that is of no consequence. I know you, that is sufficient. I offer you the place of second on board, the brig forward, for a voyage that may be long and perilous. If you agree to my conditions, you will receive a salary of five hundred pounds, and all through the voyage it will be augmented one-tenth at the end of each year. The forward is not yet in existence. You must have it built so as to be ready for sea at the beginning of April, 1860, at the latest. Herewith is a detailed plan and estimate. You will take care that it is scrupulously followed. The ship is to be built by Messrs. Scott and Co., who will settle with you. I particularly recommend you the choice of the forward's crew. It will be composed of a captain, myself of a second you of a third officer a boatswain two engineers an ice pilot eight sailors and two others eighteen men in all comprising dr clawbonny of this town who will introduce himself to you when necessary the forward's crew must be composed of englishmen without encumbrance they should be all bachelors and sober for no spirits nor even beer will be allowed on board ready to undertake anything and to bear with anything you will give the preference to men of sanguine constitution as they carry a greater amount of animal heat offer them five times the usual pay with an increase of one tenth for each year of service at the end of the voyage five hundred pounds will be placed at the disposition of each and two thousand at yours these funds will be placed with messrs marcourt and co the voyage will be long and difficult, but honourable, so you need not hesitate to accept my conditions. Be good enough to send your answer to K. Z. Poste Restante, Göteborg, Sweden. Postscriptum. On the 15th of February next, you will receive a large Danish dog, with hanging lips, a towny coat with black stripes. You will take it on board and have it fed with oaten bread mixed with tallow grease. You will acknowledge the reception of the said dog to me under the same initials as above, Poste Restante, Leghorn, Italy. The captain of the forward will introduce himself to you when necessary. When you are ready to start, you will receive further instructions. The captain of the forward, K. Z. End of chapter 2